YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Oxygen First Breath. So what is Oxygen First Breath? Well, it is a survival city builder, one of those genres that I am very fond of. If I had to take a guess at describing it, it's a mixture of frost punk and surviving the aftermath. It's got post-apocalyptic scarcity and people recruitment aspects of it from surviving the aftermath, but it's got a centrally located, super important hub building to keep everybody alive element from Frostpunk. But instead of weathering the cold weather, we're weathering toxic gas and in desperately trying to produce our own oxygen on our devastated planet. So as uh, normally, I have already done the tutorial, so I will be your tutorial. So let's dive in, shall we? This game, by the way, is coming out today. It's available in full on Steam. There's also a demo version where you can get the game for free and play the first 50 days. Also, by the way, this is a sponsored stream. So thank you very much to the devs for sponsoring this video. So let's dive in, shall we? We're going to keep everything nice and normal at whatever the intended difficulty is. So essentially, the planet, which is, is Earth, but it's a post-apocalyptic Earth. The apocalypse is these fumaroles here, these cracks. The Earth has sort of undergone this like constant state of volcanic eruption where it's not spewing lava, it's spewing deadly gas. And it's been doing that so much that the, the air in, uh, on the planet has become uh, almost unbreathable, actually completely unbreathable. Luckily, we have an oxygen center. This is our centrally located hypercritical building that, that we need to get going here. Or rather, it is built, but it without this, we are dead. Now, there's a few things we need to take care of. We've got 14, uh, 14 adults and two children by the looks of it. Thousand energy stored up. A uh, fair, fair amount of, of other miscellaneous gears here. Some food and some water. So let's get to attending to our colony's basic needs. Um, and also keeping an eye on where we assign everybody. Now one thing, one thing before we even start building professions here, and this is something I like here, is there are some buildings that you can assign people to, but they're not buildings, they're trees. What, what better way to help the world's oxygen problem than revitalizing some of these trees? And some are in worse shape than others. But if you get them above 80% vitality, they start producing oxygen independent for you. Um, and while it does not completely produce this main building, it really helps out. But it's a long-term prospect. You can't just, you know, put a miracle potion on it and instantly revive it. But I think it's worth putting at least one of our adults to working on this tree over here. Maybe, maybe one over here too. Although this one's gonna take a while longer. So you know what, let's just stick with this one tree and then we'll focus our efforts elsewhere. We can, st um, there's lots of little bits and pieces to salvage around here. We can, we can assign scavengers to that. I don't know if we need, um, to scavenge anything as of yet, but as we get lower, we can start scavenging. All right, we need some basics, so let's get some food. Um, okay, so fishing dock, we can put down like right here. Anyone who doesn't have an actual job will default to a builder. Uh, let's see, water purifier. Can we squeeze that next to it? Yes, no, maybe so, maybe not. Hmm. The tutorial actually used this map. Hang on. Let's let's start with the water purifier. And then see if we can do the um, fishing dock. Yeah, there we go. We just needed to put it one further over. That's more like it. So that way we can get our bare bones basics there for food and water. The other thing we need is a research center. The research center will allow us to get tech points, which allows us to get other things here. Let's see here. There we go. 
Now, one of the things that we need to do, is, and, and this is this right here, this crack, these crop up during the game, randomly. Uh, we start the game with this one here. New task. Let's start with the basic needs, water, food, and houses. Yes. All right, I guess, all right, we'll start with housing. I guess we can prioritize that over the research center first. Um, and yeah, we can't do anything better than a <clears throat> container house until we research it. So, container house it is. Holds four people, so we need four of these. Alright, so they can touch in the middle here. Leave a little gap up here so people can get through. That should be good. So yeah, one of the problems with this thing, this crack here, is that in 0.7 days, this thing's going to explode. And not only is it going to explode and destroy anything that might be built on top of it, um, which thankfully there is nothing built on top of it yet, but then it's going to turn into this burning pile of a crack here, releasing deadly gases into the area and rendering this whole area unusable until it disperses. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're fighting against here and why everything, the rest of the planet, is kind of wrecked. Alright, we got all of our workers uh, going, except for our kids. Darn lazy kids. I don't know if they yet go into the whole dis decision tree thing like you do with uh, um, Frostpunk. Let's speed things up just a little bit, get our, get our work going here. Also, everybody's in, like, hazmat suits with oxygen tanks. They have to go back to this central oxygen building to refill once their oxygen is out. Okay, we've got um, that. Let's get two people assigned to water. Let's get two people assigned to food. Getting our housing done. Dink. And dink. There we go. Um, oh, build a canteen. We need a fifth container house, apparently. And a canteen. Okay, I can do that. We can do a fifth container house. I mean, we don't... It's a little bit more than we actually need, but that's okay. But yeah, you do need a canteen to actually dispense the food and drink. This isn't like Tropico, where people just go down to the docks and just nosh a fish raw. That seems pretty good. And then we'll get some material rewards plus some happiness. Looks like it's a timed quest too, but we got plenty of time here. Yeah, we got our adult over here very slowly tending the tree. And it takes resources too, it takes water. But, you know what, over time, it might be worth it. Probably will be. Alright, got our house, we just need the canteen, and then we are golden. With these people idle, um... You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna have somebody start scavenging some gears, because that seems important. Okay, canteen is all set. Uh, we will hire somebody to it. All right, I, uh, now we can get that, although I don't think we're going to be able to research the, the gas extractor, which is the thing that you can use to prevent these from exploding. So this thing's going to be blowing up. But that being said, let's get the research center anyway so that we can start cooking research. Let's slow things down just a bit. Patrolling my, my area here for any other signs of explodies. This tree right here is actually really close. Let's get an adult on this one. This one is like almost ready to produce oxygen for us. And even though it's kind of far away, that's still, I'd say worth the effort. Go 
course, we might be ending up taking away some of our foresters for some other professions as we use them up. Because as we uh, occupy more and more of our people, the fewer and fewer will be available for building. And that thing's going to detonate soon. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can um, turn on the oxygen center to basically turn on oxygen generators in all of your buildings. And doing so, you can do that, but that also takes electricity. Like, everything starts consuming electricity. All right, looks like it is raining. Um, oh, and we got a new... We got a new... Uh, gas leak here. I don't know if the rain is inherently harmful. I know the wind is harmful. The tutorials made it very clear that uh, the wind is not your friend. The wind makes it... There it goes! There it goes, yeah. And then that's going to do that in two and a half days. But you know what? I think we can... Oh, well, we're not going to research anything unless we have somebody assigned to that. Um, oh yeah, the other thing you need to worry about is your vote of confidence. Um, we need to get generate five points of votes of confidence um, in order to, uh, I guess, remain in office. Um, let's see. By radar and signal tower population. level of the settlers oh building new buildings uh, increases the score well we can do that let's um, let's see what we got here yeah we're researching that medical post we can see what the weather is going to be like. What, rain seems to be fine. Snow seems to be fine. Sun is fine. What we need to look out for is wind. Ooh, a star. That's a decorative, but um, it makes people very, very happy. So we're going to make a decoration here. Besides, I'm, I mean, I'm Penn Star, right? Why, why, why? It would be wrong to ignore that. This building right here is like tons and tons of abandoned apartment with, yeah, th this thing has lots of goodies in it. So we don't need to necessarily get all of our infrastructure set up right away. All right, our tech institute is doing its thing. We'll start seeing research points generated here in a moment. And I think we need 15 of them to get our gas extractor, uh, which I will be putting down on this thing. We should get that before it blows up. This thing, we're just gonna have to let it fester for four days. Dink, I, I heard a dink. What did we dink? Oh, we dinked the star. Excellent. The crack is oozing. All right, we're running a little, oh, we're running a lot of it low on water. That's probably because we're using some of it for the trees. Let's get some more people on water production so we do not die of thirst. Please and thank you. Come on, Anders. Oh, clothes have durability. Well, there you go. Well, yeah, it doesn't help that your thirst is uh, is down in the dumps. I mean, we have water. Do we do we need to? Yeah, it's no, it's been it's been delivered to to the canteen. Oh yeah, the ruins let you just scan for, for that. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. 
Still, uh, still grabbing the gear here. Actually, it looks like we just got a little bit more of the gears. Let's speed you up just a touch. Oop, new task. Let's generate electricity from a crack by the help of a gas extractor. Yes, that is precisely what I'm going for. Maybe we should get an extra worker here to help uh, churn this out a little faster. Build two gas extractors? Well, we're going to have to wait for another crack to open up. Unless another one opened up already, but I don't see any. Oh, what's the... That's pretty high in vitality, too. Now, I, I, if I know this game, I'm sure it will, uh, a new one, a new crack will appear for us to tap in due time. So let's speed you up a little bit. We still have a lot of idle people, which is disconcerting. We should be putting them to use. Um... You know what, let's get more gear scavengers, and then you know what, we're going to get some coal scavengers. We're just going to just have everybody do something. I don't want them sitting around doing nothing. Alright, we got five points of research. Okay. I don't know what harm snow does. The tutorial did not cover snowy weather. Only when. <laughs> but I'm going to assume it's going to be like this. I mean, I'm sure at some point you can start growing crops and the snow might harm that, but we're not into crops at the moment, so... Oh yeah, we're, we're producing coal from our, uh, from our things over here. That's good. You do need to feed your oxygen producer with coal for the moment. Although renewables are something that can be researched later on. All right, 10 points. Good, good. We need that magic number 15. And I'll, uh, we'll take a good heavy look at the rest of the research tree, not just the one thing we're interested in. What did we ding? Aha! A new crack is oozing. All right, well, at least we know we can tap our two gas extractors uh, on something. And there we go, 15. All right, so what do we got here? I know we need the gas extractor. Um, and that leads to water turbines and solar panels, which is really good. Plant houses. Yep, see, there you can grow stuff. Plant house, kitchen, tomato seeds, shelter. Dupe. All right, so that advances the housing quality. Yeah, 30 gears, 25 plastic. That's why we were harvesting gears. Because we need to have the gears for these gas extractors. Uh, coal mines, metals, quarries. So, all right. And these are the easy things here. Cafe, Taylor, Playground. All right, well, first things first, gas extractor. Bam. All right, let's build two of these bad boys and we'll take people off of uh, scavenging for the moment. So how many, how many uh, gears do we, all right, we have enough gears for a couple of these things. Uh, what I will probably do is take our two gear scavengers off so that they can build these things because we actually need people around to build and we need to make sure we, we at least need to make sure this one gets built before that one explodes as much as i'd like to have another festering pile of toxic gas in the middle of my thing let's let's give that a mess not to mention the gas extractors ex um, create power for you um, so they, they not only prevent a problem, but they, uh, um, create a benefit out of it, as long as you get to them on time. 
All right, so far weather is okay. I like the snow effect. He's pretty. Although that does not seem to be hampering the uh, smoldering chemical fires that we got bubbling in our in our uh, camp here. And at least the lake isn't freezing over. That would be problematic. All right, they're hammering away, and we got the gas extractor. Aha! So it generates a little bit of energy, and then eventually the, I guess it sucks up all the gas here. And I'm guessing it, it just prematurely disperses it so it doesn't bubble up and explode on its own. All right, we got enough coal over here. So we just need to finish this gas extractor, and then we've got our uh, reward. And we're going to have to keep building these, so I think we're going to need to go back on gear scavenging uh, after this, after this one gets built. Because those things take 30 gears a pop. And I have a feeling we're going to need to continuously build them. I mean, unless you get them, get the materials back at the end of the 20 some odd days when you dismantle them, um, that would be nice, but I don't know for a fact if that's how that works. All right, we got another 15. Um, yeah, actually, that was the cheapest option here. There's a coal mine, but we don't need that yet because we can keep scavenging it. Once we run out of scavengeable coal, then we'll need that. A shelter might be a better thing. Cafe, um, hmm, no, Taylor. If Banished has taught me anything, you don't want to run out of clothes. And also, you need clothes for new people. So I think our next, uh, our next technological thing is going to be that. Um, I heard a ding. Did that mean a new crack is oozing? I knew it. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get this gas extractor going, too. I mean, it certainly helps our electricity. I mean, we're producing enough now. It helps uh, cut back. Aha, there's our windy day. All right, let's get those two people back on scavenging gears from that car wreck. Oh yeah, no, we need to, we need we need people working in constructions. We gotta balance them out. Now, one of the things we can build here, uh, submarine dock, this will drop off new people. Um, why it's a submarine, I'm not entirely sure, but hey, you know what, I'll take it. And new people is definitely a thing that we're going to need. You also need canned food. Um, do we have canned food? We have extra uniforms. Does it say... We do have canned food, okay. Because um, you need to, you need to give your teams that you send out to search for people canned food uh, for them to complete their missions. Um, and now there is canned fish right here, which we can grab, but we have a little supply of them, which is good. We have our people eat the fresh stuff, and the canned stuff can be used for missions. We'll have our two builders just do their thing. sure we cap this this fire is almost done I think it'll just vanish from the landscape once it uh... what do we got gas extractor completed good we are almost up to another point of vote of confidence I think this explorate this will get our exploration going here People, we almost have the people point, too. All right, going back to snowing. Ooh, hey, our tree! Yes! Our tree is at, is above 80, um, it generates a tree dome and acts as a natural oxygen center. So now people can go in here and refill their oxygen. I'm certainly going to keep tending it. 
because I have a feeling that its vitality will drop without uh, being tended. But that that works out greatly, and this this actually they, we can use this as like a springboard because now people don't have to go all the way back here for oxygen. We could build stuff over here. Maybe with our next uh, uh, load of people, that might be a viable option. Oh man, we're gonna need a medical center for when the winds. The tutorial made it very clear. Medical center, you need that for winds because people are gonna get sick. Medical post. We need plastic. Ooh, okay. We need plastic. Um, metal plank, coal, metal. I know there's plastic to scavenge around here somewhere. There's got to be plastic. It's just like in surviving the aftermath. Like plastic of all things, you need you need you need the plastic. There's our plastic. Okay. So, boom boom. Boom, boom. Let's get that plastic now. Because we need to make sure we have enough plastic on hand to build that medical tent when the winds come. New task. What do you got for me? Let's build a submarine dock so that new people can join us by using it. And produce 15 plastic. Yeah, uh, I we're, we're thinking the same thing, day the game. Oh, and it gives us plastic. Now, granted, we need to we need to make our own plastic to get a reward of plastic, but it will give us a boost. That's good. Dink. Well, we got our submarine dock. That was nice. There is no upcoming submarine. Oh, I guess they come to us? Now, regardless, we'll make sure we, uh, we, we fulfill this plastic component. All right, yeah, that fumarole did go away. Excellent. And that one's still smoldering, but that'll go away. That's cooking. That's cooking. That's cooking. Free energy abounds. Excellent. And we just got our second vote of confidence. Excellent. Now, does it say? No, we don't want to dismantle that. That would be silly. Now, is there a way? Signal tower isn't built. Radar isn't built. We, we might need the radar to go sending submarines out. But I know the signal tower is part of this, but let's finish the quest first. We'll go from there. There it is. Excellent. But we also need the plastic for that medical post. <laughs> let's get that cooking. That tree's in a pretty sad state. What do we got here? A new crack is oozing. Not on my watch. As long as we have the stuff for it. Gas extractor. Bam. And actually our, our construction people will be able to refill their tanks at the tree, so little bit of extra efficiency save there. Granted, they're going to have to run all the way down and back to get materials. But what can you do? Hopefully they know to prioritize this. Also, can we build the... Oh, you can actually make new trees. That's nice. Oh, we need to research the signal tower before we can even get into that. Interesting. All right. Well, hopefully we get some freebies from the uh, from the submarine. Okay, we got a doctor. I'm gonna use my time, my age-old practice of not actually um, populating this until people are actually sick, so that we can save on our uh, on our stuff here.
All right, so I think what do we got? What do we got here? Coal mine don't need it. Metalworks don't need it. Signal tower we could certainly use that. I think I might want to save up for that. Almost got our new one built here. Oh, there's actually lots of plastic over here too. This is a really good scavenge spot. One thing I might do, uh, resources, storage, we need plastic. Well, we still have all those two people harvesting lots of plastic. So you know what? That's you, 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 you guys keep doing that. Once we get enough plastic, we need what? 30 of it. We're, uh, oh, they must have just delivered it. Or is that a different material? Metal. Okay. 25 metal. All right. So plastic. We cease the plastic for now. Let's find us some metal. That I remember being a lot more, yeah, metal deposit. Oh, you need a mine for that. Is that metal plank? No, metal planks are completely different. Yeah, just raw metal right here. Yeah, and we get a storage up here, and then we can just start harvesting this up. Another one? We just we just built one. Oh, I see the, how this can be a problem. Because eventually we're gonna run out of gears. Yup. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to tap that one. <laughs> oh, the struggle is real. But that's what I like. This, this game definitely has uh, some problems. It is currently in early access, but available for, uh, for sale today. Um, so take a look. Uh, there's a link in the description for the Steam page. Um, and that is my first look at Oxygen First Breath. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!